A shooting in Spokane Valley ends with one man in the hospital and four Spokane County deputies on leave. The man was said to be abusing his girlfriend and a child and was surrounded by weapons, but we don't know exactly what led to shots being fired. Last night, Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich told our Taylor Graham he can't share details because he doesn't have them, saying a new state law is to blame. Taylor. Well, Aaron, the sheriff takes issue with a new set of guidelines which were made possible by a voter approved initiative which was signed into law last year. Last night marked just the second deputy shooting his office has seen since those rules went into effect. Deputies uh, began giving orders, shots were fired, and that's just about as much as I can give you due to the new state law which uh, states that we can't really do anything anymore on scene. That state law Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich is talking about is voter approved initiative 940, which in part called for a new set of guidelines for officer involved shooting investigations. When you start talking about changing the way, um, you know, officers have police for a very long time, I, I don't, I'm not surprised that you know, it's not immediately embraced. Before this change, the agency involved in the shooting could assist, just not lead the investigation. That's no longer the case. Now, that agency needs to lock down the scene and wait for an independent team of officers from other agencies to get there. By working collectively like that and having people from different agencies, you bring different skill sets. Knezovich believes that will stretch departments thin and the time spent waiting could actually compromise the investigation. Whenever you have to wait so long to bring a team together, you have the potential of missing evidence or missing a witness that we didn't go out and try to grab like we used to. The commission believes the rules are meant to make officer-involved shooting investigations more transparent and build trust with the community. The sheriff doesn't see it that way. My ability to keep this, uh, this community up, updated and to give them what is going on is now severely curtailed. Though the independent team is required to send out updates once a week at minimum. Now, another concern the sheriff brought up today was the sharing of technology. For example, he says the sheriff's office wouldn't be allowed to give their drones to another agency because that would be involving themselves in the situation. But the guidelines say that would be allowed only if that equipment is critical to investigators and if there's no other option on the table.